All right, so I'm going to show you the uh, basics of getting your tank game off the ground. So here I've got a project. I've uh, already created a couple sprites for this. I've got a tank and a bullet sprite, pretty tiny bullet. Um, now for your tank uh, sprite when you're making it, I suggest you have it pointing to the right and uh, I'll explain a bit more later on, but uh, that'll be important for it uh, to making sure that your bullet is going out in the right direction. Um, so now that we've got our two sprites, uh, let's create our objects. So I'm going to start with a tank object, OBJ tank, attaching the sprite onto it. And now we're going to get our movement going. So I'm going to create an event for uh, each of our directions up, down, left, right. And now let's uh, put some actions on there. So when, you ter put, when you're going left, um, I'm going to do a couple things. So first of all, we want to uh, have a move left. And that's by decreasing the x value of our tank. Let's just go by 5 for now. But then the next thing we want to do is make sure that the image rotates because just moving left doesn't mean he's going to point in the right direction. So we're going to do a couple things here. First of all, we're going to do, uh, we're going to check if image angle, if it is already equal to 180, 180 degrees is the exact opposite of point to the right, which it is to start with. So um, if it if it is actually if it's not equal to that, then I'm going to set image angle to be equal to 180 and direction is equal to 180. Those are different. The direction of the object um, means that it will be oriented in that direction, but that doesn't necessarily change uh, the direction of the, of the sprite itself. So we need both of those things, image angle and direction being set to 180. All right. Now we can uh, just copy those because we're going to do the same, but just adjust it for each of these. So going up, we're not changing our x, we're reducing our y by 5. And instead of being 180, it's going to be 90, 90 degrees from uh, facing right to moving up. There we go. And now turning to the right we're going to increase our x. And for this, we need no rotation. But we're still going to set these because if we've moved up, we need to set them back to 0 when we push the right key. And then finally, going down, our y is increasing. And this is going to be 270. There we go. The next thing we need to do is get the tank shooting. Uh, so we want that to happen when you push the space bar. Now the reason I'm not going to use this keyboard is because this includes uh, repeats. It'll repeat as long as you're holding the space bar down. And I don't want my tank to be able to do like a machine gun fire. I just want it to do a single shot. You have to push the space bar every time. So I'm going to do key press instead. Uh, and in there, all I'm going to do is put an instance create function here. And as you can see down here, we need an x, y, and an object. Now, if I just put x, y, then that automatically refers to the x, y of my tank, because my tank's the one calling it. And then you can enter in what your object is. Now, I haven't made it yet, but it will be obj bullet. And that's it for our tank object. Let's create our bullet object, attach the sprite onto it. And the only thing we're going to do, at least right now, is have a create event. So the moment it's created, and it's being created in the same position as the tank, same x, y position, now we want it to get going, start moving away from the tank and in the direction that the tank is facing. And this is why it was so important that we specify the direction variable of the tank, not just the image angle. 
So we're going to go direction is going to be equal to obj tank direction, so the direction of the tank. And then I'm going to go speed and make it equal to 20. Of course, you can change these as you like if you want to go faster or slower. Let's try it. Oh, and you're going to remind me I haven't put my tank in my room. So let's do that. Grab my tank, let's throw it right in there in the middle. Let's try that again. There we go. We've got a tank moving around. And if we hit the space bar, the bullet shoots out in every direction. And that is it for the beginning of